In today's video, I will teach you how to move a selection in GIMP. Let's get started. In GIMP, moving selections is a fundamental aspect of image editing. There are various methods to achieve this, accommodating different preferences and project requirements. Here's the basic method. First, you have to make a selection. Use any selection tool to outline the area that you want to move. Then adjust the selection using handles or combine it with other selections using Shift to add or Control to subtract. Now, let's create a floating selection. To do this, hold Control and Alt or Command and Option on Mac and click and drag with the mouse to move the selected area. Alternatively, you can use the Select menu and choose Float or simply press Control shift l or Command shift l on Mac OS. Now, we're going to anchor the selection. To finalize the move, open the Layer menu and choose Anchor Layer or simply use Control h or Command h on Mac. A second method is by using floating selections. A temporary layer titled Floating Selection or Floated Layer appears in the Layers menu. You can create a new layer, anchor the selection, or delete the floating selection. However, there are some move tool limitations. The move tool can only be used after floating the selection. Ensure that the tool is set to layer mode for moving the content or selection mode for moving the selected area. The third thing that you must know is moving selection precisely. For this, you can use the 3D Transform tool. Turn the selection into a floating selection, then choose the Tools menu, then go to Transform Tools, then 3D Transform, then enter a specific X and Y values for precise movement, for example, 25 in X for right and negative 40 in Y for up. Another thing is using pixel layers. With this, you have an alternative to floating selections. Simply cut or copy the selection, then paste it into a new layer for greater flexibility. This method allows for individual selections to be kept separate for intricate edits. Alternatively, if using floated layers, press the green New Layer button with the floated layer selected. By understanding and utilizing these methods, users can efficiently move selections in GIMP according to their project requirements and personal preferences. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.